Hey guys, how's it going? It's Merrick again, with another game in chat. So I know it's been a while since I had the last one, um, but this has been kind of on my mind for a while. I don't normally make game in chats a lot until they get like an actual thought that I would like to share and have like a discussion with, and I'd like to see what other people think in the comments section below, as per usual. So today I'm going to talk about, as you can tell by the game I'm playing, the remake that has been... I guess quietly announced for Resident Evil 4, and why I honestly don't think that it deserves a remake, and why I actually think that a game like 6, one of the most divisive and, in my opinion, the worst game in the series, deserves a remake. Of, like, a proper remake. And I'll get to my reasons why. Now. I am not a fan of the remake of Resident Evil 3. I think it's very much a poorly done mess. It's got its moments, don't get me wrong, but it's not the game for me. And I'm glad that other people can like it, and that's the whole thing. But I honestly don't see the point in a semi-gritty or semi-grim-dark remake of Resident Evil 4. A game that's about all sorts of, like, little bits of saccharin and, like, cheesiness that the series is known for. 4 is, like, an honest little game that does the series right, when that sort of thing. And this is weird for me to say on, like, you know, I'm not... It's weird for me to say that I don't think 4 needs a read because I'm not the biggest fan of 4. That's kind of, like, a thing of mine. I, I do like the game a little more now than I did, probably because I kind of broke my money curse that I explained back during my streams. But, the thing is, though, is that when you translate this sort of thing, especially with the reasons why the remakes of 2 and 3 were a bit uh, criticized for stuff that they've done, the thing is cutting of content and other things like that. Now, I don't, exa I don't specifically care what happens or what, people, or what they design the game for and shit like that, but here's the thing. There's a lot of stuff I don't like in 4 that I feel like, you know, it, it's... Because it, it does its own little piece with the series that all the other games do as well. Like, it has its moments of, you have to know what you're doing in order to, like, properly conserve ammo while taking out, like, certain enemies and everything like that. Which is fine. I don't mind that. Like, that's that's in almost every Resident Evil game. Like, you, you, sh you have to somewhat know what you're doing before you get involved and... You know, you're gonna, like, die and shit like that a lot and everything like that. It's, it's a learning experience for everybody. Even in the more action-oriented games like 4. But, let me explain what I'm talking about. Because a lot of the stuff that was cut from Resident Evil, uh, f like, 2 and 3, were done for, air quotes, realism. Or, this wouldn't work in this realistic sense. Or, like, you know, like, this makes no sense, etc, etc. And I'm like, but why, though? Like, the point of a remake, right, is to fix up issues with a game and or, like, try to improve where things could be improved and other things like that, other than, you know, making, like, a quick cash grab if that's what they're attempting to do with a remake. Like, running off of old, uh, you know, nostalgia and that jazz. But the main intent of a remake is to properly, you know, I guess fix a lot of the issues, as I said before. Now, the thing about 4, 4 has a ton of issues in my opinion, but none of them that really need to be fixed, also, in my opinion. Like, sure, I give the game shit for Ashley segments and everything like that, but Ashley's not that annoying once you get, like, once you understand how to, like, you know, manipulate the game, or if you don't pay attention to re-yells. Like, I used to, as a kid, I used to think that was a pain in the ass, but, like, what, like, what are they gonna do? Are they gonna do, like, it, let's say they remake the game, what are they gonna do? Are they going to just make the Ashley segments, like, completely separate, like, with, uh, they did with Sherry, where she doesn't hang out with you for much, and then she's taken away by irons, and that's how the whole scenario sort of plays out? Or is it gonna be, like, you know, the exact same game where she's following you around and everything like that, but she's a little more useful? Like, there's so many, like, what-ifs that this could be. That, you know, it could, like, I can understand a, a want to see something like that done. Yeah, of course. I would love to see how they could do Ashley much better. But 
there's a sort of charm to having a character who's kind of useless that you have to, like, protect, I guess is the best way to put it. Like, it's somewhat, and I don't, and I'm not too much of a fan of escort missions, but I don't think that it cheapens the game in some way. I honestly think that it's at least balanced enough to feel like it's not going to be too much of an issue versus, like, at least with the Ashley Dilemma. I think it's balanced enough that it's not going to be an issue versus, like, how you sort of, like, play out and control the game and everything like that with the actions and how you shoot and how you do this sort of thing. But my whole point with this is that while there is some stuff I would like to see improvement on, there's other stuff that I fear will be removed, like different plaga types and everything like that. Um, and yeah, like, Brazil 4 has room for improvement, is what I'm getting at. But I don't want to see, like, certain aspects cut as what they did with 3 and 2. Like, the plaga types, as I said before, because despite, like, you know, the second stage plaga being an instant kill bite attack, there's a charm to that. Like, you have to be prepared for that sort of thing. You know, you're, you're gonna, like I said, Resident Evil's all about, all about a learning experience. If every Plaga was the same, that kind of gets boring. It's kind of like the uh, Ivies in the remake of 2. They just made them like regular zombies, and I honestly don't care for that. I find it cool that, you know, you have to burn them to finish them off. Like, they could have worked that in with that sort of thing. But yeah, like, cutting something and cutting something in a game, such as, like, an enemy or anything like that, is sort of a sign of few a futility because you can't come up with anything better than what was already there. But I kind of see that as like, well, you know, why would you cut it anyway if that's the case? Like, they could still, you know, you could still make the game work with like, you know, you could still make a game work with like stuff like that. And I honestly don't want to see just like, you know, not to, not to, the word is not dumbing down, but I don't want to see, like, the degradation of a cool enemy like the Regenerator turned into just, like, you know, another zombie that's just, like, sh able to shrug off more hits until, like, you know, you put it down for, like, good with certain things. Like, it, it like, it's just gonna turn it into stuff that's, like, you know, this sort of thing. It's gonna turn it into homogenization. Now... Another, like, another game that I would sort of fear a remake of would be Code Veronica. Because, once again, with the cutting of stuff, a lot of things could potentially just be removed without improvement. And, like, there's things that could be proven. Like, here's an example of what I mean. Uh, and I know was, I'm mainly going to talk about 4, but here's an example of what I mean of something that seems minor, but definitely could use some improvement, instead of just leaving it as is. If they remake Code Veronica, for example, I would love to see a proper albinoid boss fight. That weird salamander thing that electrifies the water and stuff like that. Because in the original game, all you do is just run in and take it from that. Like, what I... And that's what I'm getting at. That would be a decent improvement, like, turning that into an actual boss fight, rather than just, like, you know, get an item, leave, and all that shit. Because knowing Capcom with stuff like that, they're just going to cut it, like they did with the Gravedigger, where they could have, like I said, made a better boss fight of it. That's where I'm getting at with 4 here. I don't want to see characters like Mendez turn from, like, this cool centipede man because he's not- it's not realistic that this whole thing would be inside of him or stuff like that. I- I, I don't want to just be turned from centipede man into, like, maybe a dude with, like, a tentacle arm and, like, he can, like, crawl on the walls or something like that. I don't want to see a remake of Marguerite, I guess, from Resident Evil 7. Because that would just make Marguerite a less interesting boss in the end, too. If all we're going to do is just copy her movements for another boss. Or, like, you know, turn her into stuff like that. And, that, like... And that's kind of the whole thing I have with this game. 4 and 7 are kind of hand-in-hand hand for being the games that brought about, like, shifts. And they have very much similarities. Like, one of them, you're fighting, like, American, I guess, hillbillies up in, like, you know, crazed hillbillies up in, like, a, uh, the Hills Have Eyes style, like, abandoned house in abandoned county in, like, Louisiana. In this game, it's pretty much the same thing, except you're fighting, like, a bunch of, uh, I guess, uh, non, uh, what the hell is that word? 
non uh modern i guess there you go non modernized uh villagers that have been infected by something in this so that's where I kind of see the paradigm shift. Like it's kind of ironic that they're going to be remaking Resident Evil 4 in that sort of style. When, like I said, I don't think it needs it. And the game is fine as it is despite its flaws. Because they think the flaws are what make it charming and everything like that. Especially with all the weird glitches that have happened to me over the years. Slash like my air quotes curse that I've talked about before. But, you know, I wouldn't want to see the game done any other way than it is. Because it's... Is this kind of like, you know, it doesn't need a remake. It, like, some improvements could be done, of course, but like I said, a whole remake for minor things? Not really. Like, sure, would it be good if, uh, sh would it be good if, uh, what's her name? Ashley shut the hell up sometimes. Yeah. Like, that's fine. But it's all, it's all in her character and stuff like that, and, and honestly, you get to, you get used to it as you play the game and everything like that. Now, and the whole idea, too, I wouldn't want to see sections cut, like, despite my annoyance with parts of the castle or the garadors or shit like that. Like I said, cutting stuff doesn't improve it. It honestly makes the product much worse because, like I said, it's a, it's a, it's an admittance to futility. You can't come up with anything better than what was already is, so why would you remove it any, why would you remove it at that case if it's already fine? So, moving on from this... I wanted to talk about why I think Resident Evil 6 would make a better game to remake. Because it would just be like a complete from the ground up redone experience. 6, as I, as I have a whole video talking about it, is the most horrid Resident Evil game I've ever played. And I've played stuff like Gaiden and everything like that. Like it has like and games like that have the heart of Resident Evil, but they're not like, you know, perfect. But I'm not, I'm not talking about, like, perfection here. I'm just talking about games that are good. And Resident Evil, Resident Evil 6 is not good. It's not fun to play. There's annoying... Like I said, there's plot holes everywhere. Inconsistencies everywhere. This game needs a remake. In order to fix all these flaws. Because pretty much Capcom is pretending like 6 doesn't exist at this point in time, right? So, what would be a better way to reintroduce the game than to completely remake it and bring it back to the horror roots that it deserves to be at? I like that idea a lot. And it would make the game much more interesting if they could give the virus a more consistent tone, feeling like that, fix all the plot holes with Chris being, like, you know, a sad lad over losing some rando rookies versus, like, you know, someone like Jill, whom he did not even go into a depressive state over. Like, he was stuck in the anger stage of the five stages of grief. So, in five, as should I say. But so, moving on from here, like, fixing fixing the lore about the sea virus would be perfect. Fixing up a ton of other inconsistencies in the game would be perfect. It would just improve the, it would improve the product so much that, you know, it would completely, like I said, it would completely replace it. There's no need for the original 6 anymore. The remake has improved upon it, like, just like Resident Evil 1 Remake would do. It made stuff more consistent, fixed a lot of the dialogue, though it did cut some lines that would make more more interest. you know, it did cut some lines that would have made for a little bit more of a, uh, you know, character consistent basis, like, the, apparently the line, uh, yelling Joseph, like, you know, they care about the- because we don't even know- Joseph, we don't even learn Joseph's name in the uh, remake of uh, Resident Evil 1. The guy with the bandana who gets eaten by uh, the Cerberus in the beginning. So, my point stands is that if we do remake a game, remake 6, it would fix all the plot point, fix all the plot holes, uh, you know, fix the virus so that it's not like, you know, something stupid. And, well, I guess that goes, I guess that goes hand in hand with the plot points. But yeah, fix the plot points, fix the characters, fix the entire game, remove the stupid shit like the secret society and like the secret Illuminati style society and crap like that. Like, that's just kind of dumb and like, you know, it runs off of shit like that. Like, 6 is a game that deserves improvement versus a game like 4 where, like, its flaws give it its charm. 
Six's flaws just break everything. It breaks the lore, breaks continuity, and all this other weird shit. And, like, <sighs> Six is a bad game. It just needs to be re- it just needs to be redone in order to, like, reintroduce it to the series. Um, I guess make it, like, you know, 6.5, uh, complete redo would <laughs> be the best way to put it. So, what do you guys think? Uh, like, what do you guys think? Tell me down in the comments below if you have want to add to this discussion. And I should say this, though. Uh, to quote Steve Gold... Steve Gold... <laughs> Jeff Goldblum... Steve... Yeah, sorry, I was calling, uh, Jeff Goldblum Steve Goldjobs for a while because of his, uh, ap similar appearance to, uh, especially the way he dresses, to, uh, Steve Jobs. Sorry. Uh, I almost said the name again. My joke name again. But yeah, to quote, to quote Jeff Goldblum from Jurassic Park. Did we ever stop and think that, you know, that we could? You know what I'm saying? But do you think that we should remake 4? Like, do you ever stop and think about the possibilities of that we could? It's the thing that, should we do this? Should we remake 4? You could remake 4, but should you? Is my whole thing. So what do you guys think, as I said before? Tell me down below in the comments, and I'll catch everybody later. As of tonight, we're going to be doing a Sky... As of tonight of this recording, we're going to be doing a Skyrim Saturday. So I'll see everybody then. Merrick, out. See you guys.